What are you reading? Did she just flat out ignore me? Alan, is your mother upset with me about something? She's not talking to me. Then ignore her back. Don't let her bother you. Are you sure that will make her even more upset? Yes, I'm sure. You have my word. I agree with Alan. Just mimic her attitude towards you. Trouble Busters! My name is Helen. I met my husband Alan at work and we got married after dating for a few years. What are you two doing in here? You don't have time to be playing games on your phones. Yes, Helen? Were you even listening to anything that I just said to you? What is going on between you and your wife? Well, we had an argument. No biggie. Well, you shouldn't fight with her over chat. Go speak to her directly. That's the way that it should be. It's fine. She doesn't care. It's not fine. You're making me uncomfortable by involving me in your argument. Helen, just let them do their thing. It's beyond our control. You're only encouraging his behavior by reacting to it. My father-in-law had an odd sense of humor, and I sometimes didn't know how to interact with him. He liked to tease me all the time, but sometimes I took it too seriously. What would you all like to have for dinner tonight? Let's see. Uh, maybe some red bluefish? There's no such thing! Where do you come up with these things? <laughs> I'm funny, right? I guess, but I still don't know how to react. Helen, how about you? Uh, let me see. Some codfish sautéed in butter? Sounds good. I'll make that for dinner tonight, then. Thanks, Mom. Aw, oh, so no red bluefish, then? Nope, I win. If you continue with your jokes, we'll never decide on what to have for dinner. I have to agree with Alan here. I'm glad that we were able to make this decision quickly tonight. I'm going to go to the supermarket now. Let me come with you. I'll push the shopping cart. <laughs> the supermarket is so spacious. The one that I usually shop at is much smaller. There's so much variety here. Um, here's some codfish. This looks great. Or perhaps you'd like to get another? Do you have any thoughts? Alan's mother continued to ignore me the whole time, and I don't know why. When we got to the cash register, I offered to pay for the groceries, but she didn't respond. I wondered if I was invisible to her. She wouldn't allow me to help her with the cooking or washing of the dishes either. When I tried to help out, she would stop me without speaking to me. What was going on? I had no idea. Had I done something to upset her? Gotcha. <laughs> Good move, Dad. Get the other one, Alan. On it. Alan, we're going home now. Uh, give me a few more minutes. We're almost done here. <sighs> I wasn't sure how to get Alan's mother to like me or open up to me. Are you thinking about my mother again? Yes. Was it that obvious? Uh-huh. I don't understand why she won't speak to you. It doesn't make any sense. She should realize how much her attitude is hurting you. I kept on thinking about whether or not I did anything to upset her, but I don't think that I have. What's not to love about you? You're gorgeous, friendly, and fun to be around. Maybe my mother's jealous because you get along with my father so well. But I can't ignore your father when he makes a joke. You don't need to change anything. Try not to let my mother bother you. It's her, not you. I could see where Alan was coming from, but his mother's attitude continued to bug me. Every time I went to visit Alan's parents, I went out of my way to have a conversation with his mother. What are you reading? Is it an interesting read? Did you just flat out ignore me? That day, I gave up and went home. And one day, I received a phone call. What? Really? Yes, my mother is really sick and can't get out of bed. Would you mind going over to her house and checking in on her? My father is away on a business trip now, so she's home alone. Okay, we will do, Alan. After I hung up the phone, I rushed over to my mother-in-law's house. Her cold was worse than I imagined, and I was worried about her. Please get some rest. I put a glass of water on your nightstand. Do you feel strong enough to eat some porridge? You'll probably recover faster if you have some food in your stomach. Here's your medicine. I hope that after you recover from this cold, we can all sit down and get to know each other better. I took good care of Alan's mother and hoped that she would open up to me after she got better. I'm so happy that you're feeling well again. Can you hear me? She still wasn't talking to me. I don't get it. Just a few more seconds, Alan. Okay, I'm gonna win this time. <laughs> Yay, I win. Now you owe me some ice cream. I want the expensive kind. Ah, uh, fine. It's not fair that you keep on beating me. Alan, is your mother upset with me about something? Helen, I just lost another game to my dad and now I have to buy him expensive ice cream. Helen, are you listening? I told Alan and his father about the fact that my mother-in-law wasn't talking to me. They both apologized to me for her behavior. Then they suggested that I mimic her attitude and not let it bother me so much. Really? Is that such a good idea? You should do it. I don't understand why my wife is being so mean to you. He took care of her when she was sick. She has no reason to be so rude to you. She needs a taste of her own medicine. Are you sure that this is a good idea? Yes, I hope that this works. Same here. Since I don't have any other ideas, I decided to take their advice. Troublebusters! What is this? Why are you always sending me such strange videos? 
I'm not interested, so you don't need to send them to me. Alan, do you have any videos that you can share with Helen? Something that she might actually like? Let's see. We don't have the same taste, so... I can find other ways to entertain myself. Don't worry about me. You, you shouldn't be watching, watching such garbage. garbage! Oh, Jinx! Well, since the two of you are at my house, we should play games together. I don't mind, but Helen's not interested in playing games on her phone. Oh, okay. Any other ideas? Um, would anyone like some tea? Huh? Alan, wanna have a thumb fight? Not really. You become a sore loser if things don't go your way. You two. Can you hear me? I also don't like it when you try to kiss me and put me off guard so that I'll lose. Do I do that? You do! And it's gross! You do anything to try to win! You need to play fair and square! I'm not a cheater! I'm just creative! <laughs> I love watching you two tease each other! Why are you both ignoring me? Alan's mother tried to talk to Alan and her husband, but they continued to give her the silent treatment. Looking at the situation objectively, I realized how mean it was to ignore someone. I didn't understand why Alan's mother was being so mean to me, and so passive-aggressively, too. Because Alan's mother couldn't get her son and husband to talk to her, she finally came over to me. Um, Helen, do you and Alan plan to stay for dinner tonight? What would you like to eat? Would you like to go to the supermarket together? Why is everyone ignoring me today? I ignored Alan's mother completely, as that was a part of our plan. I needed Alan's mother to experience firsthand what it's like to be ignored for a long time. I was also surprised at how chatty she could be. Why are you doing this to me? You're bullying me! What did I do to deserve this? Do you hear yourself? This is exactly what you've been doing to Helen this whole time! Oh. Why are you so surprised? No matter how hard Helen tried to get along with you, you continue to ignore her. Do you realize how much you hurt Helen by ignoring her? Why would you go out of your way to be so mean to Helen? Do you finally see what you've been doing to Helen? Do you feel bad? Helen's feelings. I now understand how painful it is to be ignored like this. I'm glad that you understand how I felt. Yes, I do. Will you start talking to me now? Actually, this is all your fault, Helen. Why? What is the matter with you? How can you blame Helen for this? Helen, listen to me. It bothers me that Helen fools around with your father. It upsets me. I don't like superficial people like Helen. I feel that she uses her femininity to get her way with men, and I frown upon that. Don't talk about Helen in that way. She's not like that at all. Are you trying to say that I married Helen because she tricked me into liking her? Helen is outgoing and fun. Those are two great traits in a person. I appreciate that she puts up with my jokes and teasing. Don't try to justify what you did to her. You need to take responsibility for your actions. That's not all. Helen's not a good cook and she's clumsy. I wish that she'd work on her skills before having a fun time with you two. You're not making any sense. Besides, you were a terrible cook when we first got married and I never complained. Don't make this about me. We're talking about Helen here. You're only putting Helen down so that you can feel better about yourself. I'll make a note of all the things that you said today. Why don't you just tell me all this instead of ignoring me? Is there a need to say everything out loud? You should have realized that I didn't let you cook because you're lousy at cooking. My cooking is not all that bad. You need to apologize to Helen for ignoring her and making her feel bad. That's right. Until you make things right with Helen, we won't be speaking to you. Are you ganging up on me? What other choice do we have? Don't you see that you're the only one that doesn't realize what you've been doing to me? Who are you to tell me what is right and wrong? When I came over to take care of you when you were sick, a simple thank you would have been nice, but you ignored me the whole time. I think that I have a better idea of what is acceptable behavior in comparison to someone that can't show appreciation when someone goes out of their way to help them. You just don't get it. Consider yourself in my shoes. How would you feel? Look. I'm asking you a question here. I wouldn't feel anything. Are you happy now? What? Whoa. If it had been my husband or Alan taking care of me, I would have said thank you. I find you insincere. That's why I didn't want to thank you. You just wanted to get my good side when I was sick and weak. I'm not falling for that. Wow, you're unbelievable. Huh? You're delusional with a twisted mind. I'm so glad I don't live with you. I'd go insane. You don't need to ignore her anymore. But you haven't... <laughs> Oh, Helen finally understand that she was wrong this whole time. Yes, wrong about you. I'm not going to waste another minute trying to get along with you. Good for me. I'm leaving now. I don't want to be in this hostile environment anymore. I'm sorry about all this, Helen. It's not your fault. You're more than welcome to come visit Alan and I anytime. Okay, sounds good. I'm coming with you, Helen. See you too soon, I hope. Yeah, we'll see you soon for sure. So, now you're trying to make me look like the bad guy. Great plan, Helen. Ignore me all you want. I don't care. That didn't go well. I'm sorry to put you through this, Helen. My mother is being unreasonable, to say the least. I don't understand what she has against you. It makes no sense. 
You don't need to come home with me. You can stay if you want. This is between me and your mother. I can't forgive my mother after the way that she treated you. Neither can I. Well, we're leaving now. I can't stand to stay in the same room as her. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go shopping. See you soon. What are you gonna buy? I'm gonna put a lock on my door so that your mother can't bother me. I might be living under the same roof as her, but I'm going to avoid her as much as possible. I see. You don't need to do that for me. I don't want you and your wife to fight about this. This isn't only about you, Helen. It's about how I feel about my wife after seeing the dark side of her. I'm even considering divorce if it comes down to that. Divorce? divorce? I don't know if I want to spend the rest of my life with a woman like her. I don't respect her anymore. Wow, your father's serious about this. Yes, he is. I've never seen him like this. Thus began my battle with my mother-in-law. Alan's father comes to visit us from time to time, and Alan and I are happy together, so the only thing giving me a headache was his mother. <coughs> Hello? Are you happy now? What are you talking about? You know what this is about. I've heard that you're holding family gatherings at your house and leaving me out. Okay. Everyone seems to think that I'm the bad guy here, including all of our relatives. My husband keeps the door of his room locked, and we only come out when he needs to. And I know that the three of you have been going out together. Why are you telling me all this? You started this, and you need to fix it. This isn't my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. You're lying. You're not going to get away with this. Why are you trying to punish me for something that I didn't do? What? I couldn't believe it. Alan's mother threw a rock at her window and broke it. She was standing in her backyard and glaring at me through the window. How could you do this? I'm gonna call the police. Go ahead. This is a family matter. They won't take you seriously. This type of thing happens all the time. I'm not done though. You better watch out. She then threw a firecracker into my living room through the cracks of the window that she had just broken. She was out of her mind. Who does this? <coughs> She's crazy. Why does she have to go this far? I tried to leave the living room to avoid the smoke from the firecrackers, but to my horror, the living room door wouldn't open. Alan's mother had come into my house and was pushing against the door so that I couldn't make my escape. You're not going anywhere. Open the door. You wish. This is what you get for making me suffer. You need to pay for your crimes. You deserve to be punished. What's going on? There's smoke coming out of my window. What the hell are you doing? You've gone too far this time. Let go of me. This is all Helen's fault. She took everything that was important from me, including you and Alan. She didn't know such thing. You drove everyone away with your selfish behavior. Helen, are you alright? <coughs> I think so. Alan called the police and had them take his mother down to the station. This may have started off as a family matter, but she had broken her window and tried to cause harm to me with some firecrackers. Would you like to file a claim? Of course. Understood. How dare you do this to me? I'm your mother-in-law, you traitor! You had no right to call the police! You need to calm down. Shut up, you asshole! Alan's mother then tried to push the police officer away from her. She was arrested on the spot for trying to assault the officer. She's so stupid. It makes me sad. She basically got herself arrested. I'm ashamed to say that she is my mother. Alan's mother was found guilty of her crimes, and she had to kiss the light that she knew goodbye. She now had a criminal record which was not going to serve her well. Alan's mother realized just how much she had lost when she got home. Please don't leave me, I can't live without you! You have no say in this. I've already made up my mind about the divorce. You're not the woman that I thought you were. I'm very disappointed in you, to say the least. I wasn't in my right mind, please forgive me. You're right about that. You're insane! And I know that you're not capable of change. I don't want to waste any more of my life being with someone like you. I need you to sign the divorce papers. Please don't do this to me! We're here to pick you up, Dad. Perfect timing. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start my new life. We're rooting for you. Helen, please help me convince your father not to leave me. I think that he's making a very wise choice. You don't deserve to be with a great guy like Dad. So you're not going to help me then? You do understand all the terrible things you've done to this family, right? You broke our house window and threw firecrackers into our living room. If you still don't feel bad about what you've done, there's something seriously wrong with you. The house that you raided not only belongs to me, but to your beloved son. Why would you do such a thing? It's perfectly understandable that Alan can't forgive you after something like this. It took me hours to clean up after what you did. I had a hard time getting rid of the smell of the smoke in our house. You ruined all of our clothes and furniture. You're obviously reimbursing us for the damages. Our couch alone costs $15,000. We won't let you rest until you pay us back every cent. I don't recommend that you hire a lawyer, though, because they can be very expensive. It's about more than money. We want you to understand the gravity of what you've done. I don't have that kind of money, Alan. I'm past retirement. I don't have a job. If your father leaves me, I'll be on my own with no income. That's not my problem. You're a criminal, and you need to figure out a way to make it up to us. What you did to Helen is unforgivable, and you can spend the rest of your life repenting. 
You had many opportunities to apologize to Helen and make the situation better, but you didn't. I'm cutting you out of my life. You can't do that. I'm your mother. Helen, this is all your fault. If you hadn't married Alan, none of this would have happened. Are you still trying to blame me for everything? Ugh. You're a mess. I can't stand to be in the same room as you any longer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for things to turn out this way. I'm sick and tired of listening to your excuses. Have a nice life. Now let's get out of here. Yes, finally. Don't leave me here all alone. Alan, Alan. Alan, his father and I moved into our new home and started fresh. We didn't tell Alan's mother where we were moving to though. We didn't want her to bother us anymore. Alan's mother was completely alone and no one wanted anything to do with her. She was now a divorcee and owed her family a lot of money for all the trouble that she had caused. We thought that all our troubles were over now, but... Dad, you need to get up now. How many hours have you been in that position? Oh, do I have to? I'm really comfy. Go back to your own place. You don't live here, remember? Oh, this place has a roof and I'm comfortable. Why don't I move in with you and Helen? I don't think so. Sorry. I don't want to fight with you, though. I like this Japanese-style room that you have here. I should have rented out a property with this kind of room. Look, you need to go home now. You've overstayed your welcome. Um, okay. <laughs> what the hell? Why is he still here? Where am I? Oh, drop the act. How long do you plan on staying here? Uh, just let it go, okay? No, I need you to go home now. Helen and I are trying to have kids, okay? We want some privacy. I don't mind. Do your thing. I know a thing or two about making babies. That's not the point, and we mind, okay? Now leave. Well, what if I don't want to leave? I don't want to be alone in my apartment. It's no fun. This isn't about you. Uh, now give us some space. We'll let you know when we're ready to invite you over again. Alan's father gave us the space that we needed. If only things had been this easy with Alan's mother, too. Six months later, Alan and I were thrilled to know that we were pregnant. We couldn't wait for the arrival of our new baby. Alan's father was ecstatic as well. It took us some time, but we are now in a really good place, and I'm going to hold on to that as long as I can. Trouble Busters!